Hi friends, my name is Mohit and welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Support. Friends, today we are starting installation of data center series. This series will cover installation and configuration of Microsoft Windows Server 2019 and installation and configuration of Active Directory, DNS, DSAP, file server, backup server, lots of things. So this is series going to be a uh, very interesting so guys keep it with me and uh, so we will cover all the points in this series so guys let's start so guys first of all i just want to tell you when we are planning to installation of data center or any data center so guys what we need to do first of all we need a proper ups power backup we need uh, our data center should be a fireproof all the things all cabling should be connected so guys when we are talk about the any of company's network so if this is a typical network here internet is coming from the isp this is a I, their isp router and some company are also installing the organizational their own organizational router and they are also uh, connect the firewall but this firewall should be here or here on this location as per the company policy then after that uh, switch comes and all the devices are even server personal computer access point and printer are connected with the switches so guys this is a typically data center structure or, or any company network structure we can say that so guys first of all when we were planning to buy any server so how we can install suppose we can install uh, the server in the usb device through iso file or dvd one or through a network suppose uh, sometime uh, we, we are planning to install a server on a remote location where uh, we are not possible to go there so we can also install the operating system or server on that server through the ILO port. So if I am talking about the ILO port, so this is a typically ILO port. This is ILO 5. This is the HP server DL380 Gen 10 is the latest one. So when we are uh, give the order to the vendor or uh, so vendor come and just mount the server on the remote location and just uh, connect the LAN cable with uh, from the switch on that uh, remote location and they configure the ILO 5 or ILO all depends on their server the configuration utility and uh, what is that so guys they this is a typical one so I have just downloaded from the internet so here the all servers are come with the DSCP enable ILO utility they disable this and put the manual IP so uh, the server team can access that server from the remote location and install the server so guys now uh, we are planning we are here we are planning to install the uh, Windows Server 2019 from the Hyper-V here the Hyper-V manager here I am opening. Here they, I will install the uh, Windows Server to 2019. So here I am going to the quick create. So now I am disabling the Windows Server secure boot. Here I am giving the path of the ISO file which I have downloaded uh, from the Microsoft site. So here the images folder. 2019 i am just putting in a more option when you will go the name of this uh, virtual machine is a server one so here i have created a tsc network tech support english network the customized network here i am selecting this one because when we are uh, when planning to install any network so we have a one on a separate network on this thing so you can also create this uh, customized server if you are working on the hyper-v from this setting uh, virtual switch manager when you will go you can add a or create a new network so now i am putting this server on a tsc network and on a router side i already disabled the 
uh, disable the DACP from the router because whenever we are planning to data center, so, so we will get the internet connection from the ISP. And I, we always disable the DACP network uh, from the router if we are planning to install DACP server on our own premises. So here I am just going to the edit setting, just check the settings. So now I am, it's a boot from, it will, this one, ISO file and server VDX, all the settings are, looks great and it's on our TSC network. I'm clicking on the OK and click on the connect one. Here, uh, it's asking me to just click on the start one. Now, it will ask me, I, I hope it will ask me press any key to, to continue. Yeah, yeah, I continue. Now, you can see that the server installation is started. So, guys, it will take some time for installation. So, now, let's go to the options. Now I'm clicking on the next one. Just click on the install now. Here it will take some time. It all depends on your internet speed. So here I'm choosing the standard evaluation version, desktop experience. Now clicking on the next. Here I am accepting the agreement. If you will not accept the agreement, you cannot be continue. So here the option, so I am going to the custom installation, not upgrading any server. So here I have a 127GB virtual hard drive. So when you will buy a new server, so you will get uh, more space uh, and you can create a partition as per your requirement. So here, but here I am only uh, just uh, selecting only one partition. So here I'm clicking the apply one, OK one. Uh, OK, now I'm st starting the installation. Now you can see that installation is started. Now I'm. Uh, it will take some time and I'm pausing this screen now. So let me pause this video. Welcome back friends. Now it's asking me to set the password for administrator. So here I'm putting the password. So now, now I'm clicking on the finish. So now it's finalized the settings, asking me the screen resolution. So I'm putting here the connect the full screen. So guys, now, our server is ready. Now we have to put the or do the configuration part. So there are two things which I, we have to do. First of all, we need to give the static IP because every server runs on the static IP and which or where I will replan the what IP have I will give to the this server. So here, now you can see that the, the yellow triangle is showing in the network one. So first of all, we need to give the static IP to this thing, uh, to this server. Here I'm going to the network and sharing center, going to the ethernet properties, TCP IP 4, go into the properties here the IP I will put class C and the router IP address so I have put this IP address randomly in my router so now I am putting the IP of router here gateway and I am also putting the this server IP address in the DNS because I will also configure uh, DNS server in my next videos. So please be with me. So this is my IP one. 
So now you can see that it's asking me to connect the new one. Now you can see, you will see that the yellow triangle will remove in some time. Okay, so now we need to change the server manager. Uh, this one, local server and change the host name. Here I am changing the name is S-E-R-V-E-R -E server. Okay. Now I am restarting the machine. But before restart the machine, just put this one, the desktop icon on the this one. Uh, go to the themes desktop icon desktop user files apply okay okay one so desktop icon come in the my desktop so here you can see that now yellow triangle is removed so now i'm restarting the machine or restarting this server so the configuration can work properly so guys this is my video for the installation and configuration of Windows Server 2019. I hope you understand my video. And if you understand my video, then please like my video and share it with your friends. And if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel till now, then please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you.